With Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7 on the horizon slated for release next year, the upcoming Battlefront 2 Clone Wars Season has the possibility to not only be the best season, but revive Battlefront 2 altogether. With the anticipation of the season, I want to take right now to predict what I believe we will see for the Clone Wars Season of Star Wars Battlefront 2. As already seen thanks to the Battlefront 2 roadmap, we know that the first heroes being added to the game will be Obi-Wan Kenobi and General Grievous. Now these two have a very checkered history over the course of the Clone Wars and I fully expect that along with their release, we will see the planet where the two face off for the final time, Utapau. This map will look great with the large scale galactic assault game mode with the first phase starting at the moment that the 212th attack battalion dropped into battle to assist Kenobi with their objective being to capture points to allow a safe landing zone for additional troops. The next phase could lead into the clone army targeting the droid army spider walkers or crab droids or something I think would be very cool and keep the players on their toes, switch the clones from attackers to defenders momentarily as the next phase could be to defend the ATTE walkers from a droid counterattack. The final phase could then be a point capture to round off the game and it will be action filled to say the least. Along with the map, new reinforcement troops could be introduced including the likes of the 212 paratroopers or even the pow and warriors that assisted the Republic in battle. The aesthetics of the map could be incredibly diverse with multiple levels on each phase with bridges that support combat while others duels below it. All the while, Kenobi and Grievous traverse the battlefield assisting where they can. I also think that if we keep on par with the heroes being added, I look to when the game will see the debuts of Anakin Skywalker and Count Dooku and all of the four announced heroes were all present for the Battle of Coruscant which kicked off the events of Revenge of the Sith. More than likely this map will consist of the space portion of Coruscant but there was also a battle that took place on the ground in which the Trade Federation managed to capture Chancellor Palpatine and I wouldn't be surprised to see this section added. But when thinking about this, I also remember the new large scale game mode that will be coming soon and I will also expect this game mode to be associated with the space and ground capabilities of a Coruscant map should be added. Now I would also like to predict a couple of battles from the animated Clone Wars movie and series respectively. From the movie, I would more than likely expect the Battle of Christophus as it worked perfectly with the Galactic Assault game mode. And in regards to the Clone War show, I would predict the additions of the Battle of Umbara, the Battle of Ryloth, the first battle of Felucia as well. Along with these additions have the possibility of new heroes outside of who have already been announced. Ahsoka Tano, who is arguably one of the more popular characters in Star Wars animation, has been a sought after hero since the very first Battlefront in 2015. As the Clone Wars DLC closes in, I see her chances of being added growing even more. Her counterpart villain would be the obvious choice of Asajj Ventress, who even formed an uneasy alliance with the Jedi during the fifth season of the Clone Wars. The big question is, however, will we see the addition of clone heroes? Personally, I know some might not agree, but I don't see clone heroes making their way into Star Wars Battlefront 2. But that doesn't mean I don't expect to see clones like Commander Cody, Captain Rex, and so much more to still have a presence. If they were added, I think the best way to do so would be to do one of either two things. The first will be to add them as a reinforcement troop, but one that costs more battle points than those that already exist since only one person can play as them, because you cannot have two Captain Rexes or two Commander Cody's running around the battlefield. The second option will be to bring back the honor guard system that was seen in the very first Star Wars Battlefront. Now for those who don't remember or did not play the first Battlefront, the honor guard system was very simple. If Leia or Palpatine spawned in for their respective sides, it would give two players the opportunity to spawn in as honor guards for those characters. For Leia, they would spawn in as two rebel troops and for Palpatine, they would spawn in as two Imperial Royal Guards. Now if they brought this into Battlefront 2 for the Clone Wars heroes, I think the best way to do it would be if Kenobi spawned in, give an option to a player to spawn in as Commander Cody, and the same for Rex and Anakin. The Trade Federation could also see a version with this, instead of clones obviously they would have Magna Guard step in to defend the heroes wherever they can. Now there are two more heroes that I believe will make their way into Star Wars Battlefront at some time and it is due to the addition of Geonosis, that being Mace Windu and Jango Fett. These two provided one of the more memorable moments of Star Wars Battlefront 2 and I fully support the possibility of the two being added. 
So to run down my predictions, the maps will be Utapau, Coruscant, Umbara, Volusia, Kristoffis, and Ryloth. New reinforcement troops would be Rex, Cody, the Pow Ow Warriors of Utapau, and many other notable clones, and new heroes would be Ahsoka Tano, Asajj Ventress, Mace Windu, and Jango Fett. Now certainly, I don't want to round out this video without turning to all of you. So what are your Clone Wars content predictions for Battlefront 2? Be sure to place those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and share with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Marauders Guild and ring the bell to get notified about whenever we upload. Until the next time, may the force of others be with you.